This is a quick tutorial how to use the Mivuri Gesture Manager for Oculus Quest hand tracking. Please note that this is a different version of Mivuri, but it's compatible with the normal Mivuri and Mivuri for HoloLens. You can move the Gesture Manager by pinching the blue handlebars. At the top of the menu, you can choose which joints in each hand are used for gesture recognition. Limiting the number of joints to only the fingertips will greatly reduce the time required for training the AI. Below, you can create a new gesture. Touch the Gesture Name field to rename the gesture. In order to record samples, we need to tell the gesture manager how we signal the start and end of a gesture motion, called the trigger. In this example, making a fist with the opposing hand will start and end the gesture motion. In the submenu below, we set the gesture manager to record our gesture motions as samples for the created gesture. By making a fist, we start the recording. Notice that the sphere on the finger lights up. After performing the gesture motion, we open the right hand fist again to stop the recording. Now we have one sample recorded for this gesture. For reliable recognition, several samples should be recorded, depending on how many other gestures you have and how similar they are. It is advisable to record samples of the gesture in all the ways which you want to allow it for example, facing in different directions. Now I create a second gesture and record samples for this one as well. The frame of reference setting decides from which viewpoint Mivuri will evaluate the gestures. By default, gestures are evaluated from your head's position, meaning as they look to you. You can also choose to evaluate the gestures relative to the hand itself only or relative to your real world room. You can also choose whether this frame of reference should be updated during the gesture motion. When you're satisfied, you can start the training process. The AI now learns how to distinguish your gestures. Then set the gesture manager to identify gestures instead of recording samples and test how well it performs. If the result is not satisfying, you can try training again or record more samples. Finally, you can save your gestures into a gesture database file. This file you can then use in your app or game to identify the gestures.